In this video, I will be taking a look at Tower of Fantasy, exploring the gameplay, the combat, the game design, the map design, and everything in between. Now I've never played this game, I know nothing about it, and the closest thing that I can compare it to would be Genshin Impact. And although I will do my best to judge this game fairly as a standalone game and not just compare to Genshin all the time, but there will be some comparisons as the core gameplay of both games are rather similar and it is impossible to ignore that. So without wasting time, let's see what the new player experience in Tower of Fantasy looks like and in the end I will give you my final thoughts and impressions of my first day in this game. So grab some snacks, strap in and enjoy the journey. And so, let's begin this game. Okay, so I need to choose. Got it. Okay, let's go with this guy. I think that's a beautiful name. What? God damn it. Okay, so the controls are actually pretty similar to Genshin, which is nice. That will make my life a little bit easier adjusting to this game. Alright, so this is the beginner area. It looks pretty cool. I like it actually. Something similar to Genshin in the way it looks, but also very futuristic at the same time. This game has 120 FPS, so that is already one thing that is massively better than Genshin, so thumbs up for that. That I can appreciate it. Okay, so before I changed the settings, it kind of looked a little bit darker and not as clean, but after the setting changed, it looks way better. The game looks like twice as good. So if you're starting this game, check out the settings because the game will look a lot better. Okay, so this game also has a skip button, which Genshin should also take notes. I'm not saying every quest has to have a skip, but some boring and annoying ones could definitely do. But for main quest, I usually have a strong opinion of there should not be a skip button though. So this is a good thing, but with caution. I'm not sure which one is better. I would love to have both, to be honest. Let's go for auto sprint right now but we'll see i will say though i'm really digging the vibes how everything looks i like that kind of somewhat giving me like borderlands vibes although there are these small like mini lags even in cutscenes which is a bit weird I, I don't know why my pc is not exactly a slouch okay so we can customize the character right <laughs> is that sasuke uchiha oh yeah oh yeah these are from naruto okay got it it's funny how you can just sort of glide in the air almost who's this lady she looks pretty cool i'm so used to in Genshin that the traveler doesn't talk and here we do talk so that's kind of cool I like it Ooh, our first chest let's see if we can get anything cool we got stuff I don't know if it does anything good for us but I would imagine so although this game in general is pretty good well so far <laughs> at least it definitely lacks a little bit that I don't even know how to say that smoothness and polishness of Genshin you know what I mean like don't get me wrong it's not bad by no means just not as smooth, you know what I mean? So this jetpack is essentially just a glider, it doesn't really work as a jetpack, it's just a glider. But that still is pretty cool. It does have a pretty damn long range as well though. Alright, I guess this is a wishing system, I imagine, right? Yeah, looks like something like it. I don't get it, did we just receive a weapon or a character? Or both? I'm confused. Oh, I think it was just a weapon. Guys, I think you missed translating this one. <laughs> Alright, but that seems like a character. I think we also got a character, no? Yeah, I believe we did. Okay, so there's a bunch of rewards for a new guy. I can always appreciate that. Alright, so this is our new weapon. I think it's the equivalent of a 4 star in Genshin, right? The way I understood at least. I'm not entirely sure. There's a bunch of mushrooms. I don't know if I need them, but if there's one thing I've learned in Genshin, if it's shiny, take it. So I don't know what happened, I just pressed take a trial card or something and it just completely shut the game off and it even shut the launcher itself off. It even restarted some of my settings. I don't know what's up with that, but not off to a best start, but hey, technical glitches happen to every game, so we're not gonna overjudge. Um, I got some sort of a box, let's try to use it. Okay, I have no idea <laughs> what to take, none at all. I'll take something for the jetpack, I guess, I, I don't know. I think we opened up a dungeon or something? Alright, let's check it out. We got something, although not, I'm not sure what. Um, It's some sort of a rocket launcher or something. <laughs> That's pretty cool, I guess. As far as the combat goes in this game, on one hand, I prefer the Genshin's smoothness, animations, 
and just the graphical design. Yet on the other hand, I also prefer in this game that the combat is actually a little bit more free. In Genshin, for example, when you use your abilities, you're just pretty much locked in animation until it ends. Here, however, you're not really locked that much. So I would love to have a combination of both, but unfortunately I can only have either that or that. So I don't know which one I prefer more, but I like both, but in different ways. Okay, that's gonna be our first boss. Why they have not translated these things? Okay, they did, but in a weird way, but there we go. I essentially can just fight in the air for a little bit of time until my stamina ends, which is an interesting way, but there we go. That is God of War straight up. <laughs> Alright, hell yeah. It was pretty enjoyable dungeon, I liked it. I only wish it was a little bit longer. There's some sort of an anniversary pack for like next to nothing in terms of, well, whatever this currency is called. I'm not entirely sure what those things are, but I probably should purchase them, right? Because it's pretty cheap. At least if you look at everything else, that looks pretty cheap. What the hell is going on? These guys are attacking us. Let's kick their asses. Also, I have a bow as well. Since when did that happen? I don't get it. How many weapons can I wield? I think I can wield like three weapons or something at the same time, which I will say that's quite nice. So you kinda only need one character because you can wield so many weapons. Unlike in Genshin where you have the whole party but then again I don't know maybe that's gonna be the case here as well. Alright so the game is telling me to order. Alright let's do that. No idea if that's good or not but there we go. I mean doesn't look good but what do I know. Not the biggest fan of how long that animation takes. Although you can skip it I can see it but still. The only thing that is kind of a little bit annoying is Whenever you switch the weapons, if they already have their ultimate abilities ready, it just uses automatically, which is a bit annoying. You know, I may not always want to do that. Then again, maybe it just feels like it's gonna be annoying and maybe it won't be. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know why, but you look so funny, man. This bow is technically low level and stuff, but it actually hits pretty hard and it has a pretty big range, so it might be even a little bit more useful than my better weapon, which is this one. Okay, my friend, can I skip this? This is not the most fun thing to watch. It doesn't allow to skip. I can skip the storyline, but God forbid I skip this. All right, this is getting pretty dark. She's becoming a zombie or something. The whole village just threw this guy a weapon and they were like, okay, kill this little girl. This is straight up the last of us. All right, this is pretty dark. Not that I mind, but this is pretty dark. Not what I expected at all. She's like, I don't want to be the one of the infected ones. Just shoot me. This is straight up from the last of us. He didn't do it though. <gasps> little kitty. His name is Mike. <laughs> Oh, what a beautiful Mikey. Oh, he even has a friend. Okay, this game is now twice as good just because of these two guys. And this looks pretty awesome as well. There's vehicles in this game. Hell yeah, there we go, my man. Oh my god, the controls are absolutely awful. What the fuck? They're so bad. How are you even supposed to use this? This is awful. What the hell? This was so bad. It's usable, I guess, but that's the best that I can say about it. What is going on here? All right, we got teleported somewhere else. This city looks pretty cool. That being said, I did expect this game to be very similar to Genshin, at least from the things that I heard and looked, but honestly, they're pretty different. I mean, yes, the gameplay itself, the wishing system, controls, blah, blah, blah. Sure, whatever. They are nearly identical, sure. But the game itself is pretty damn different. The way it feels, looks, the maps, the designs, the models, monsters, the combat, the overall vibe and feeling of the game, they're pretty damn different. I wouldn't say that these are two of the same game, definitely not. Mm, are these different people? I mean real people. Looks like it, no? I'm used to playing alone in Genshin. If you play here with people, that's actually pretty cool. Alright, we already level 15, which <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how many levels there are, so I don't know if that's a lot or no, but we're getting there. The game is also rewarding us with gifts, love to see that. All right, we're we're heading into some other place, although we just came here, so I'm not sure what's up with that, but there we go. Mm, did I just got a new character for free? Because I believe I did. I definitely did. I just don't entirely get what's the point on, on switching characters, well, aside from the looks. If you can use the same weapons, I'm a little bit confused. These are some weird trades, but um, there we go, doing a good deeds. Not sure I care too much about that one. <laughs> Early riser, punishing evil. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not sure about that one, mate. I honestly don't know what's the difference between them. I'm sure eventually I'll figure out. All right, we unlocked a little bit more of the map. Why does this map look a little bit like Africa? <laughs> okay, this thing handles 10 times better. I don't know what's wrong with that one was. This is fine. This is not awful by no means. But this is a pretty beautiful looking area. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh wow, that looks really good. That looks so cool. I really want to visit it. I mean, this game definitely has some beautiful areas. Pretty unique ones and interesting ones as well. Just look at this thing. The overall design is pretty awesome in this game. There's no question about it. Mm, what is this thing? What does it do? We're gonna upgrade it, but I don't really know what, ex what exactly does it do. Alright, so there's like actual items in this game. Alright, that's pretty cool. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more similar to Genshin, but this is a little bit more like traditional MMO with items and everything. I like that. I do. Oh, hell yeah. Look at this city. This is straight up cyberpunk. This is not like cyberpunk. This is cyberpunk. Welcome to the Night City. Apparently, we have quite a lot of stuff that the game will give us. So we're gonna claim all. We can get a taxi. Hell yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like it. <gasps> Hello there, cutie. His name is Rich. Can you do a trick for us, Rich? Aww. I wish I had some treats for you, my friend. I like how animals have names in this game. We already have 10 of these that we can collect just in the game. So let's try and order something. Let's see if we can get anything cool. Let's do a 10 pull. All right, that doesn't seem that good. We're not really getting much so far. So this is all we got and that doesn't seem that good. No, I'm not sure. Oh, well, I also have like eight of these. I don't know. Maybe we can get some better items in here. It does say guaranteed SSR in 30 orders. So that's like a five star in 30 orders, right? That's probably like a promotion, I imagine. Because in other wishes, it's 80. All right, do we get our own room? Because if we do, that's pretty cool. It's a pretty nice room as well. Damn, look at this view. Hell yeah. We have a nice chilling area with a huge TV. A beautiful place for a pet. We don't have a pet yet, but we'll get one. I can see we have a cooker. A massive aquarium. We don't have any fishes yet, but we're gonna get as well. Man, what can I say? So far, I'm really enjoying this game. Alright, so there are daily commissions. Something like in Genshin. Alright, we're gonna do them. I am still a little bit confused on this map system. <laughs> I don't know where I am and I don't know where I need to go. So this is a little bit confusing. I don't think it was supposed to be like that. <laughs> that was clearly a glitch. Mm, this looks like a person, so I think I'm not playing alone. Okay, got it. It's good to know. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to subscribe and let me know down in the comments, would you like to see more videos on this game? It seems like a pretty cool game. I would love to explore a little bit more in this game. So be sure to let me know. Mm, what is that? Hm, I got a reward. Okay. Okay, so you can add a little bit more stuff on the weapons, right? It's interesting how it shows current weapon level is too low, yet I have zero troubles fighting anybody i'm not gonna upgrade until i have problems because i don't know what is good and i would rather not waste material but there is so many things going on in this game that is a bit difficult to track what kind of things can you do items equip and stuff like that the game is just showering you with all kinds of menus ui could be a little bit more easy to go along to be honest i'm sure that once you play long enough all of it will make sense and it's gonna be easy to understand everything but you know first impressions matter a lot and when you get showered with a whole bunch of menus it can be rather annoying at least at first so it would be kind of nice for a cleaner ui but hey not the end of the world all right the first daily missions are completed all right we have quite a lot of these again let's see if we can get any good luck last time it wasn't great let's see how it's gonna go now all right we got something i don't know if she's good but hey at least it's something right i have a couple more nothing from these so this is the new lady that we received once again the traits are interesting let's just say like that but aside from that again i'm not entirely sure what's the point of them aside from the looks all right i also have 10 of these let's see if we can get any log here nothing so far oh there we go we got something i don't know if that's a weapon or a character but we'll see so everything else seems to be garbage that's the only thing that we got good if it's good i don't know but we'll see it is a weapon okay got it got it got it let's equip it let's check this one out as well and this one as well okay so this is some sort of a, like a mage abilities type of thing all right that is actually pretty cool <laughs> that's actually pretty cool 
All right, all right, all right, I dig it. And this seems like a huge melee AO AOE, right? Something like that. All right, I, I like this one the most out of these new weapons. And we also got this new lady. She looks a little bit cooler, so we're gonna take her. Aside from that, I don't know what's the difference, but yeah, there we go. Although this system of traveling with these are pretty cool, I'll give the game that. I just wish I could fast forward or skip it in entirely. It's like cool and fun the first couple of times, but after that, not so much. Then again, it does seem like I'm playing with other people, so if that's the case, I can understand why I'm not able to skip. You could do something like teleportation, I guess. I don't know. Alright, this guy is pretty damn huge. Let's try to take him. Why do I have a feeling it's gonna be bad? <laughs> However, my new weapon does quite a lot of damage, so maybe I should be able to defeat him, we'll see, I don't know. But this guy is super strong, I'm I'm doing so much damage to him and yet he still has well over half the HP. I think I should be able to defeat him, but this is not gonna be easy by no means. I like how this weapon heals me, so it's actually pretty good for me. There we go, hell yeah. That wasn't easy, but that was pretty cool, I liked it. I'm not entirely sure how to open these things, if I'm being honest. Yep, no idea, I don't know. Okay, what do they want me to do? They're like, track down the gray space. That's exactly what I did. What am I supposed to do? I don't get it. He just randomly teleported. This game definitely has these random glitches and things that just happen randomly out of nowhere. There's definitely a little bit of a quality issue in this game. Not to the point where it breaks the game, but it it's noticeable, it is. It is a game not without its flaws, and I mean that both technically wise, because the game has glitches every now and then, and gameplay wise, it's not as polished as some other big games, including Genshin. A lot of these things are not groundbreaking or game-breaking. If you look past through them, there's actually quite a lot of things this game has to offer. The map designs are actually pretty cool. I don't like the map layout, it can be very frustrating and difficult to understand where you need to go, but the map design itself, I really like it. I really, really do. I honestly quite like the combat, maybe not as much as in Genshin, but I still enjoy it nonetheless. It's a pretty different combat style, so hard to compare them. And the game as a whole, although I maybe prefer Genshin a little bit more, but this is a pretty decent game as well. It's definitely playable, definitely enjoyable, and it's definitely pretty fun. The biggest flaw with this game is just the polishness, in terms of the game itself technically, the UI, the understandability, what you need to do, where you need to go and stuff like that. Just everything could be a little bit more smoother, a little bit more simple, a little bit more understanding and the game shouldn't just barrage you with a whole bunch of things all at once. Like just in a matter of a few minutes you travel through a whole bunch of maps, you get thousands of menus thrown at you and it all can be very overwhelming at first. I am still not 100% sure what do the characters do, aside from the looks, because it seems like every character can wield every weapon, so I don't know what exactly is the point of them. Plus there are items and everything that you equip one for everybody, so like I said, I'm not entirely sure what's the point of characters, but you guys let me know in the comments. Maybe I just don't see it yet, but regardless, I did enjoy my time in this game. I wouldn't mind making more episodes on this game as well. So if you guys would love to see more episodes, be sure to subscribe and let me know down in the comments. Although I don't have any videos to suggest to you on this game because this is my first time in this game, you can check out this Genshin video and see why I started playing Genshin. This is gonna be all for this first video. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.